In this video, we're going to be using Martin soaps, citrus waters, and the thorn razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and today, we're gonna to use a product by Leaf, and this is the Thorn. It's also called the Twig. The Thorn is basically a more aggressive or efficient version uh, of the Twig Razor. And this one is a very cool design because you twist the handle and that top rotates up and around and it uses half double-edged razor blades. We'll go ahead and show you the blade we're gonna be using today, Gillette Nasset. And you can buy the blades in half already or you could just get out a double-edged razor blade and just bend it in half like that and there you go you're ready to go so it's cheaper to buy the full blade and just snap them in half leave them in the paper snap them in half you see how easy that is and then once we get it out here we will load that up for you there's a look at the blade now that it's snapped and one of the cool things about the twig or the thorn it has magnets right here so when you drop that blade in, it secures rather uh, nicely. Once you get it dropped in straight, that is. It's always hard to do everything on camera, but anyway, once you get it dropped in, it's secure. See, holds that blade right in, and then you rotate the top back down and around, and you are ready to get on with your shave. Always make sure everything is lined up properly, and we are ready to go today with the with the thorn again. The thorn being the more aggressive or efficient version of the twig uh, razor. And so that's what we're going to be using today for the razor. The soap, this was sent to me by uh, Lord Shady, our good friend. This is Citrus Waters from uh, Martin Soaps, and it made it a lather very easily. So I'm happy about that. This runs $20.99 for, four, for five ounces, excuse me, not four, but five ounces. And on a cost chart there, that's $4.19 an ounce, which is a fair price. This is a bright citrus scent. The other day Shady reached out to me and he said, you know, uh, I have this sort of dark persona, but I gotta admit, I love bright scents, I love citrus, and I would love uh, citrus in summer to go on forever. And I said, you and me, Shady, you and me, I see you, I see you. He didn't say that, of course, but anyway, he sent me this soap and I appreciate it. Um, this is bright grapefruit, pineapple. Well, let's put the notes for you so you can see them right here. Grapefruit, pineapple, pear, basil, hemlock, and some other things. Um, it smells nice in my nose. I like it a lot. It's also tallow base. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And this was very um, easy to lather, which you know I like. And the scent strength, I would call it about, um, ooh, I'm knocking things over. The scent strength is about medium, right off the puck. And there's a look at the soap if you are curious as to what it looks like. And we look forward to using it today. Easy to lather, like I said before. I'll put up a lather shot right there. No problems whatsoever getting hydration or anything like that in the lather. So overall, it was a good experience uh, lathering this soap. So let's get into the shave today with our thorn. It's been a little while since I've used it, so I figured let's get the thorn out and roll with it. Again, the brush for today, by the way, is the uh, Lancaster Razor Works brush, which you see there. And we're using our Hendrix Classics and Company bowl, which I've been using for, I don't know, almost a couple of weeks now straight. And it compares very favorably to the Captain's Choice Bowl, if you're curious. And there are some differences, and I will uh, make a video sort of comparing those two whenever I get home. Who knows when that will be? It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I will get to it, is the point I'm trying to make. Plenty of lather here. Nice and slick. Good hydration in it. So definitely no quality problems with the Martin soap here. She also, Jennifer Martin, also makes soaps for Strike Gold Shave, um, which I think is quite a good base. I think it's underrated. DK says it all the time and I agree with him. Um, I think I saw someone the other day saying they didn't think it was, you know, all that good, but I disagree. I think it's quite a good base. Um, but honestly, most of the bases out there today are pretty good. They're, they're, you're kind of splitting hairs, I think, when you're 
comparing a lot of these bases sometimes because everything is pretty good. If you lather it well, it's going to be slick. Really, when it comes down to it, most things have to do with us and a lot less with the base of the soap in all actuality. But a lot of people, you know, give all credit all the time to the products and, and they're certainly good. But a lot, of, a lot of it is how you use the product. In fact, most of it is how you use the product. So if you don't think this is a good base, maybe work on that lathering. Uh, it should be quite slick, quite good in just about every regard. The only one I don't speak to, of course, is post, because I just don't find I can validate those uh, results objectively, especially since I use post shape product. But in every other regard, the base is uh, quite good, easy to work with. So I certainly enjoy using it. And let's get the rest of that lather off of there. And as you can see, we got plenty of volume. And let's go. Let's get going today with our thorn, which I think is a nice nimble shaver. Very nice. Love the way this thing shaves. It just, um, it feels really nimble. The head is pretty thin, you know, as you can see there. If you were to just look at the part that's shaving, and it's one of those razors, there's not a lot of heft to it. There's some heft in the bottom there, um, but it's not super heavy by any stretch of the imagination. Now, some people don't like the design, the looks of this razor because it's, you know, because of the shape, but I don't mind it. It sort of does what it's supposed to do, and that's the main thing. But I find this to be a good shaver. Now, I think I saw someone who, um, in a comment, they said they had, hadn't gotten along with the twig, um, but all my shapes have been stellar with it, so, <laughs> you know. You know me, I'm happy to have Leaf as a uh, channel sponsor because I actually use and like their products, and this is one of them that I really like. I tried the twig first, and then when the thorn was available, I was like, hey, more efficiency? I need that. <laughs> well, actually, I don't need it, but I want it because it could shave just fine with the, with the twig. But it's a nice razor. I like this. It runs about $59, by the way. Leaf. And Leaf does have, have a satisfaction, excuse me, easy for you to say. It has a, uh, Leaf has a satisfaction policy. So check that out on the website. Take advantage of it. If you, uh, if you buy one of these razors, don't like it. Uh, I can't remember the, the details, but you can send it back essentially. So, you know, you can try it if you like. And uh, if you don't like it, send it back within whatever the time period is that they allow. But for me, I like the leaf and I like the twig and thorn a lot. And man, that was a super nice, super smooth first pass. And Shady, thank you so much for the, uh, for the soap here. He sent me a whole box full of stuff. Shady's a really nice and generous guy. He's become, uh, over the last year or so, one of my best friends. I, I really like Shady. He's a really nice guy and he's a loyal um, and decent fellow despite the fact that he likes darkness and all those dank scents <laughs> they've been on a fougere gothique kick recently he and uh, magic mike another one of my good friends and they just say fougere gothique all the time and you know i don't like that scent at all but the funny thing is shady was telling me that even his wife is like <laughs> she hugged him one day and said you don't smell good. <laughs> he was wearing Fougere Gothic. And Mike also said his family had made some comments where they weren't crazy about Fougere Gothic either. So folks, it's not just me. It's not just me. And again, I have that sample that Shady sent me. And when time permits, I'm going to have some people smell that sort of blind. I'm not going to say anything to them. I'm going to get their reaction and hopefully they'll let me record it. Because I have a feeling a lot more people are going to react and go, what is that? Dirt? Uh, wet burlap that's what it really reminds me of because i've been smelling it this week trying to warm up to it and i just can't get there is wet burlap that's beginning to mold or mildew and dirt and then there's occasionally there's something that so, sort of almost spicy that comes out of it but mostly i get that earthy super dirt earthy like scent which who wants to smell like dirt unless you're dead i don't know maybe some people not me not me ever but 
um, they love it. <laughs> but you know, scent, scent preference is subjective, and I like these brighter scents, obviously. Man, nothing wrong with this base, I'll tell you that. I don't know that this is, I doubt this is the same base that she makes for a straight gold shave, but as you can see there, there's no problem lathering it. It's good. So thank you again, Shady. I really appreciate it. Um, he's a big fan of Declaration as well. So he sent me several Declaration soaps that he thought I would like, and I do. He was he was entirely right in his choices, except for the Fougere Gothic, which is, it'll be on my list of one of the worst of all time. <laughs> now, some people would have it on their best list, so that's just how subjective um, scents are. And you're not right or wrong if you don't like something. I don't like it. You may love it. That's okay. Enjoy it. You know, enjoy it. Oh, man, that's nice. So thank you, Shady. Again, this is uh, this is one of those bright scents that really fills the room, and bright things sort of, uh, or bright scents at least, just sort of bring a smile uh, to my face. I just like, I don't know, I love that energy that they uh, that they give me at least. There's just something nice about waking up, you know, seeing the sunshine, brightness, I don't know. And Shady is the opposite. He likes it dark. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, that is nice. The soap, that is. Very nice indeed. Got plenty of hydration in this, which I was shooting for. I just want it to be slick. That's the main thing for me. And it certainly is. There's no problem whatsoever with this soap. Very nice. And there's certainly no problem here with the thorn. Not bad at all. Shaving on that residual slickness there with no problem. And again, you see me do that every day regardless of soap. And the reason is there's good residual slickness. A lot of that comes from the way you lather the soap. If you lather a soap that um, lends itself, if you lather it in a way that lends itself to slickness, it will be slick. There's almost, um, there's few reputable soaps that aren't slick. In fact, you could take a bar of Irish Spring or, or uh, just about anything and it'll be as slick as a wet trout if you put the water to it. <laughs> so, and if you've ever handled a, a trout when fishing, you know it's slick when you get a little bit of water, it'll squirt right, right out of your hands. So, definitely slick. Nice, and the thorn today is allowing me to do my job so far very well. Feels good, feels nice and nimble. This is a fundraiser uh, to use, I think. I love using it. I use it every now and then. I try to rotate through razors as to not use the same ones all the time. We will be using the era a lot because I just want to try those different plates and just see how they they feel. But I try to rotate and give some love to most of my razors. <laughs> and also it's it's just fun to use different things, different soaps, different, you know, razors to have a different experience every single day. That's part of the fun of it, variety. Very nice. I tell you what, the thorn here is definitely a nice shaver. And remember, remember excuse me, they also have the twig, which is a little less efficient if you want something um, a little more mild. I'd say this one is close to medium. But again, I think oftentimes my sort of scale for what's aggressive and not is broken because I prefer more efficient razors. So I might call this, you know, I might call them a razor mild and you might think it's medium. So you never know. All right. That was an excellent shave. Just in a moment, we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a warm water rinse remove the soap. And then we applied our Razor Rock alum. There was no stinging there, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave. I really enjoyed it today. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by Witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel uh, Cucumber. Excellent shave today with Marting Soaps. Citrus waters. It is a very decent base. It's good. I liked it a lot. I like the scent. Thank you, Shady. I really appreciate it. We also used the twig 
uh, thorn razor, which is nice and efficient. It feels really agile despite the, you know, the bottom is a little fat, but it still feels agile. And I just love the way it loads. That top comes up and around. Very, very cool. I love using the, the twig or thorn and of course the leaf for that matter. Uh, we used our Lancaster Razorworks brush and it's in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug. Of course, our Hendrix uh, Classics and Company Bow, which I've been enjoying a lot. And we're gonna work on this Irish countryside a little more today. We're getting there slowly, but surely we will put another one to bed here. And I gotta say, this has been a nice shave and I hope you all have great shaves today wherever you are as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.